Hey guys, TVG here with another free game to play. As usual, a link to the game is in the description down below. Let me begin by taking you back to the past of the early 90s. People had weird haircuts and baby little stuff <laughs> ran around like a little bugger. Then waking up on Saturday, ready to eat a bowl of Czech cereal because mom thought it was healthy. But the second you pour that cereal, a free game just came out of nowhere. You begin to run over to the computer, but instead of instantly playing it, Mom begins yelling at you because she thinks you're gonna download even more viruses! Mom, for the last time, you're the one with 22 bars on AOL! Our computer literally runs slower than the dinosaurs being turned to oil! This game at its time changed a whole world inside out because it was free in a box of cereal. But now, we have an updated HD version for the lovely people of the internet. But before we go any further, take a bowl, pour some cereal, sit back on the floor, pretend you are in the best time of your life, and enjoy the show. Like I said before, this game was originally released to the masses for the purchase of a box of Czech cereal. Because of this promotion, Czech cereal sold an insane increase of their cereal once people figured out they got a full-fledged game from it. They sold so much cereal that the profits of their usual daily sellings was the size of a house. They sold as much as the Empire State Building. That's a whole! Serial people! Even after that promotion, they released and developed two more sequels that are still available today. But this game right here is the original version, just an HD quality update with hints of foreshadowing and even some meta. Still though, it's pretty amazing how one random serial that was used to make some puppy shell became an icon that people still love today. No one has actually gotten close to that since. And I am looking at you, cool spot. You suck! The second you reboot the game, you do notice how close it is to the original Doom. Remember people, when this game came out, there really wasn't a lot of possibilities you can actually do on the computer back then. Also, it wasn't the only one who actually done this. We actually have a few to go off of as a list right here. The game itself really does look like an updated older game, with the same style of playing and even oddly enough, similar graphics to the original property. Though it does use simple colors to bring back that old style of computers, it doesn't distance itself from basic coloring, which is why it does look a little bit dated and even similar to what it used to look like. From playing this game, you start to notice they were really trying to squeeze every little piece of pure, utter loving, sexing, nauseating, confusing, deep love, repeating <coughs> NOSTALGIA! What it lacks in color is filled with details, honestly. They even have a shadow of a spoon you use. That is something I do like, even though it has absolutely nothing to do with the whole game. Little details, man, make me happy. And I'm just a simple man with simple likes. It's not my fault I may be a little bit... <laughs> corny. <laughs> The music, oh, the music is nothing but pure 90s cheese goodness. The style they go off of is very nostalgic. It feels like it takes you back in time. Check it out. The game's weapons are similar to Doom. Each one copies the function, but instead of killing, you are transferring these bazorks to their dimension. I know this is a game for kids, but come on, let me shoot these fools! They are eating my food, and if you haven't noticed, I'm not a small man! I need my nutrients! Speaking of nutrients, they make constant reference to nutrients, diets, and even minerals. Even our main character... Let me, let me see right here. Fred... Ch Chex. Chexter? You named the character Fred 
Chexter that combines the whitest name possible followed by the name of the product, guys. Come on, you're killing me, but I can't help at this name. What makes it even better, the dude is a total bro. He constantly makes reference of being powered up, amazing, strong, quick, buff, heroic, stunning, fabulous, fast, and corny. Because this costume is made of corn, and the... And the cereal is is made from corn. Even to the point, Fred talks about protein. I love this guy. I want him to take him out for a drink at the local bar that isn't even open yet, and most likely have that drink be mostly milk, because of course it is. Still though, there isn't much to go off here. The game is made for baby duchies and not fully grown nearing 30 duchy. So don't expect Shadow of the Colossus level of amazing here, guys, but simple popcorn one time through gameplay. Just have fun with it. Made for children, for children. I repeat, this game was made for children. It's straightforward for a six-year-old that could probably beat it in two hours. I was playing it on Twitch when I found out I beat it in less than an hour. Wow, that was a really quick game. Oh my god, that, that's really good. I could work with this though. Yeah, I wasn't actually expecting that. But, free game, so who's complaining? So run through and kill, <clears throat> sorry, send back two dimensions. What is this? Dragon Ball Z? Another dimension. Another dimension. Mine from another dimension. He's in the next dimension. Back to their dimension. To another dimension. Look, just have fun with the game. Maybe even have a child at this point play with you since most of us are nearing 30 or are in their 30s. Then grab a bag of your favorite hero snack, take a second to admire Chexter's buffness, and open. And open. And open. This game depends 100% on the age you are. Look, I'm not gonna say this thing is a masterpiece. It's just a game goes off of... Nostalgia! Nostalgia! God damn. You gotta be careful when you say that word on the internet. Like I said, just get your daily dose of... You know what. And just have a little fun. I will only play this game for one reason and one reason only. And it's if I have friends willing to do it. But otherwise than that, it's just too short. And you figure out all the secrets in the game pretty dang quick. But overall, after playing this game, and <laughs> even finishing it, I give my final rating of 7 flexes out of 10. Hey everyone, I'd like to thank you for watching the full video. This is one of the most complicated ones I have ever actually done. So hopefully you like it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Even put in a suggestion maybe for next time right down in the comment section because YouTube likes that kind of stuff. So don't forget to check out the Twitch, the Twitter, my Instagram, even though I haven't posted on there in a while, and possibly any other social media content there may be. Who knows? Maybe the future. So flex for the followers. Welcome to the VT, man. See you later.